We have data warehouses, dimensional models, Kimball design, star schemas, third normal form, but how often do users just export the data into Excel to work with it there? What if they've had it right all along? The star schema and dimensional modeling may have been groundbreaking in 1996, but times have changed. Are these models no longer as effective in modern data processing environments? The conversion of a normal form model to star schema takes significant data engineering time. And star schemas increase the necessary time to join information from multiple dimensions. The idea of a dimensional model is to simplify the data structure for business users to easily interact with the data. But the common workforce is primarily comprised of business people who use spreadsheets to work with the data daily. And while it's easier to understand a star schema than a normalized database, users may still find the star schema difficult to understand and use compared to a spreadsheet. Enter one big table. Using a single denormalized table, often called a wide table because it has a ton of fields, can lead to a substantial improvement in query times in Redshift, Snowflake, and BigQuery. These cloud-based column store warehouses are designed to handle these wide tables really well. In a world where storage is cheap and compute is expensive, then duplicating data into a bunch of wide tables to reduce needing joins and queries is very cost effective. But even not worrying about costs, the problem with storing the same data in multiple tables is managing the complexity. If something goes wrong and data needs to be changed, all the tables it's found in have to be updated, running the risk of things just getting out of sync. If you're building these checks into your pipelines, the ETL can get very complicated having to check for changes in disparity and correcting for them in an automated way. Like most things, a hybrid model can be the best of both worlds, but at the cost of more development resources. Using a core dimensional model for storage allows for clean ETL into facts and dimensions, either in the Kimball format or data vault, but then creating a semantic layer that further denormalizes the data into an analytics ready one big table. You can then specialize for each use case. For Power BI, you might want to retain closer to a star schema, but for most other analytics tools, you can have more of an Excel-like spreadsheet. You really need to consider your use case. If you have a large number of sources with lots of dynamic data, a high potential for changing data, then you probably want to lean towards starting with a dimensional model. But if you're trying to get a quick proof of concept up to show your value, your business is used to working in a spreadsheet format, or you're lightly staffed and need to maximize impact with limited development time, then it might be a good idea to bring data from staging directly into white tables. And if you're interested in learning about the alternatives to Kimball dimensional models, be sure to watch this video next to see where data vaults and data lakes fit in.